the washer is right here, and I how I have it imagined is, yeah, uh, like this is the center of the platform built up, and this up here is turning, and let's stay on one station it drops those, and then it spins to another station, and it starts it starts spinning it, and then it keeps doing that around so we don't have a problem. The plan was to have it be gravity fed, so. As the bolt is set in the correct position, a, I imagine a, a lever or perhaps a, a door would move out of the way and allow one to sort of move forward, or perhaps it could be a conveyor belt that moves into a gravity fed. So the it starts up here, gets moved by the conveyor belt down here until eventually it would fall and hopefully correctly land on that way before the bolt then moves ahead to the next station, which would be a sort of claw that would come down and find a way to properly tighten it. A base platform where all the nuts would be lined up in a row and then above it there would be a second platform with all the washers placed directly above the nuts and then we would have a type of vertical chute that the bolts would be placed in and it would move over top and deposit a bolt down through the washer and into the nut and then be screwed on and then the machine would move over and then drop another one in and then screw that one in and just repeat that for the whole process. Stick them down in the little compartments here, and then we would have our washers stuck over top, so they aren't, excuse me, necessarily in contact. And then we would have a robot that would, um, I, I guess we can, um, just for stability. Then we had the idea of having something drive over and then drop the bolts down in and then screw them in. And it would be gravity fed through the tube there. So are you guys going to have anything to control your bolt for dropping? Or is it just straight up gravity all the way through? Just gravity all the way through because once the first one drops, the second one will be over top and it'll just drag across the top of that one there until it hits here and falls down into there. And then when the next one comes, it'll go across, it'll hit the barrier that we have here to separate the groupings. And then it will keep going along until it drops down into there. So it's kind of just like dragging it across until it falls into place. That's sort of what our yeah. idea was. And then when it's all done, everything's screwed in, we're going to use our last remaining motor to have a pulling mechanism that just releases it. When it falls, we're They were going to do that. That gets pulled on a belt. The idea. And it'll pull right underneath this, which will deliver the bolts into the station.